Hello everyone, uh, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be using React to create a nav bar. So let's just dive right into it. So for the last tutorial we just did the setup of a React app and what you should have before you start this tutorial is the following. So you want to just issue the command npm uh, start and you should be um, and the browser should launch and you should see your uh, React application. So just give it a second here. I think I already launched on my computer it's over here so as you can see we have this right now which it just says hello world 2.0 and now we're just gonna um, we're, ju we're gonna create a react uh, nav bar alright so the first thing that we want to do is install react router DOM which is um, it's a library that's gonna help us route between pages it's gonna help us switch between the pages so it's gonna act as a navigation bar so let's just do that first so right now we have this running so we want to stop. Let me just stop here. All right. All right. So in order to install the React router, we're gonna issue the following command: npm, whoop, npm install React dash router dash uh, DOM. So just click enter, and it's gonna start installing. So let's just give it a few minutes or a few seconds, and we should be good to go. Alright, so the library has been installed. The next thing that we want to do is go to the source folder and we're going to create a folder named components and this folder is going to have all the um, all the components of the React application. So React works with components. So each part of the of the web app is going to be a component. So in this case the nav bar is going to be a component. If we want to add like a sidebar that's going to be a component. If we want to add like a, uh, I don't know, like a card, like a like a section that's gonna be a component. So let me just, so I just created like a, a new folder named components. So inside the components folder, we're gonna create another folder and this is gonna be navbar. Uh, and then inside of that, we're gonna create a file, which is gonna be navbar.js.js. Uh, .js. All right, so we're gonna go into navbar.js and we're gonna do the following imports. So we're gonna import react from, um, React from React. We're also gonna import. Uh, we're missing this. We're also gonna import link from the library that we just we just installed, which is a React router DOM here. You you can find it. And we're also gonna. Well, those are the imports that we need. Well, and now we're just gonna create the the component, right? So now bar. Uh, for now, we're just gonna have like a like a div. It's gonna be like a list with the um, with all the you know the the tabs, I guess in this case. And we're gonna use link to. So the one the first one is just gonna be the home page. So you can just do that home page there, and then just say like, you know, this is the home page. I messed up here. And then we'll just create like a bunch of these. It's gonna be inside the div, and we're just gonna change this to uh, maybe there's a page that's about. All right, so we did some imports here, and afterwards we created a component. Uh, we're returning a div, and inside the div we have the. Um, it's just a list of uh, the different tabs of the different pages that we're gonna have. In this case, home page, about, blog, contact. And we're using link as you can see here and this is uh, you know the attribute to so this is going to point to you know the home page it's going to point to the about page to the blog page to the contact page and once a user clicks on you know any of them it's going to point them to this path which is going to be like you know uh, a different page in this case all right so after we have created the nav bar uh, we can just move on to create the different pages that we're going to have uh, let me just rename this nav bar I'll capitalize just the end and then what you want to do is you want to go to source and create a new folder named pages and inside this folder we're gonna have the different uh, pages so in this case home page uh, we'll have the about page and so forth and so on so just create as many pages as you have all right and inside of these uh, pages we're gonna we're gonna have to We'll just have something just like a te like a simple template just for now. So let me just copy this from the navbar and then I'll just 
Uh, so we don't need this. And let's just change this for, we'll just have like a, like a heading tag here. And this is gonna be home page. Let's rename this as well, home page. All right, so we'll just have something like this for now in all of the pages. Just don't forget to change this to the page that you're in. Let's go to app.js. For this page, we're gonna need to have a couple of imports here and then we're gonna have all the pages and all the routes to the different pages. So let me just get rid of this. And then um, let's just start importing stuff. So, so what we need here, we have, we need a browser. Browser, router, as. And here we need router just router we used to have switch that was used before in the ver uh, before version 6 since we're using version 6 uh, we need routes and we also need router or route rather yes and we're getting this from the, f the library that we just uh, installed in the beginning of the tutorial right so we also need the nav bar that we just created. So just bring the nav bar component from well in this case we have it's in components and we have nav bar and then we have nav bar. Okay. And we'll do something similar for the rest of the for the pages now. So instead of nav bar, we have the home page, and then the path is gonna be different. So it's gonna be pages, and then we have the home page. So we'll do the same thing for the rest of the. All right. So now that we have all the imports that we need, we can start just uh, setting the routes. So what you wanna do here is you wanna have router, and then we have. Well, we need the nav bar, uh, not like that. We just need the component, All right? And then we'll have routes, and the different routes that we have, we'll have them here. So we have route, and then we have the path, which is going to, in this case, the home page, right? And then before you used to use a component. So now and equal to the whatever the component was. So like in this case, it, in this case it would have been a home page, but now we don't use this anymore for for this version of the library. And once again, I'll put the link in the description so that you can check, uh, you know, the latest updates of the library so that you know how to use it. So now we need element, and here we need to have the so like the component like this, and then we'll close that, and that's how you have to set your routes now. So let me do the same thing for the rest of the pages. And of course, you just don't forget to change this. We have about, all right. So now we have the different routes. We have the nav bar and I think we're pretty much uh, good to go. All right. So let's just run the application. So just go and issue the command npm start. And I think I closed it. That's why it's taking a little bit. So let, let's just wait for it to to pop up. All right, so we have the nav bar. It's working. If you click, yes, it's working. So if you click on the home page, you know, you have this route. If you click on about, you have the slash about, blog, contact, and so forth and so on. And we get the different uh, pages or whatever we have in the different pages. All right, so now we are gonna start the nav bar. And the next thing that we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go back to nav bar that yeah, yes. We're gonna go to components nav bar and we're gonna create a new file name, uh, navbar styling, styles, yeah, the JS. Just call it that. Uh, you wanna go to the terminal, and in the terminal, we're gonna install the following packages. So we're gonna install npm install style components. All right, so after you have installed that, so we're good to go. All right, so for this styling, it's gonna be really simple. Uh, I'm just gonna copy uh, from my GitHub something, um, 
I was working on this on how to style this nav bar so so I'll just copy and paste it here I'm not gonna explain the CSS because it's just um, it's just CSS this is a react tutorial but you can you know just uh, look it up or it's pretty self-explanatory so I don't think you'll have any problem understanding this so the first thing that you want to do is since we're using link uh, so we need to ins uh, you know to we need to style the the link and you know the menu and the nav bar in general so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that import nav link as link so now nav link is gonna be link so if you go back to nav, nav bar the js we were using link but now we will be using nav link which is the same thing uh, so we're just assigning link to nav link uh, just to be the same thing and we're importing it from react router dom we're going to import style from style components and the style components library allows you to write css code into a javascript file and that's what we're doing here so just treat it like an element like a like a component and you you can write like export const nav equal to style that nav which is what we're styling and then just write that you have to use the back ticks and that's how we and then we write the the css code do the same thing with the nav link so it's just like um it's just like a link uh, that we're styling here so you know just write the css code and in this case uh you have to write it like this because this is like it's not like a common element it's not like an html element this is a this is something that comes from a, another library and the same thing for the nav menu so in this case we're styling the div and then we use the back tick and then the back ticks and then we just write the the CSS code so just save this file and let's move into the navbar.js alright so a few things we have to change here so we're not gonna use this link anymore because we already uh, imported it here and then we'll just take it from there from there from that file so let's just do import and then let's just open a curly brackets and then we're gonna we're gonna import all the things that we have all the elements that we have in this file so nav nav link and nav menu so let's do that all right and then we're doing from and then you just have to you just have to write the path here which is nav bar styles so save that and then we have to change all of this so now we have returned uh, we won't need this here anymore because we changed the remember the now the div that we're using here is gonna be this div here which is gonna be nav menu and then uh, for the link we have nav link and so forth and so on and then we have like the nav bar itself alright so now we have nav which is the nav bar and then we have the nav menu which is the div and here we have the the different links which is gonna be nav link now alright and then you do the same thing that you were doing before so just write the path right and when then we have to write active style so that we activate the style that we're using and then um well we don't need this anymore and we'll just say uh, uh we do need that <laughs> and then we'll just say this is the home page and the same thing that we had before yeah i should i should have not deleted it uh we could have just copied paste copied pasted but uh it's fine so then this was the about page here we have the contact page yeah so that's pretty much what you need here so now let's just uh, run the the app one more time and see how see if it changed so as you can see this is the the react app that we had before the nav bar so let me just uh oh it's still i think it's running right now so let's just give it a few seconds all right so we have the new nav bar we have you know the styles applied we don't have all the it, it's not a list anymore so now we have the nav bar itself and it's still working so this nav bar is not responsive but we'll take care of that in the next tutorial so as you can see here uh, you know the the options disappear the links disappear so we don't want that so we want this um, nav bar to be responsive but for that we will be creating maybe a different nav bar using uh, the material UI or maybe we'll be using um, you know like a different library something that's uh, that's different than this something that's a little bit more uh, intuitive I guess uh, but for now this is it um, that's how you create a, a react nav bar and I'll see you in the next tutorial thank you